shooting my photographs, I try my best to, to get it right in the camera. I don't want to rely upon Photoshop and, and other editing techniques to try and, you know, make a, make a photo where, where there wasn't a photo or, or to, to enhance a photo that wasn't there already. The camera does not see images or see the world like our eyes do. Our eyes, you know, work at 1 24th of a second. The camera, when I'm using these slower shutter speeds, has more time to collect the color information. So the camera can see these waves um, in a way that we can't see. I was born and raised in Santa Barbara. First, I was interested in nature photography and bird photography. And living in Santa Barbara, I got interested in surfing photography. You know, when you take a photograph of a surfer, about the only person who wants to buy that photo is the surfer himself. When you take a photograph of a wave, more people are interested in the nature of it, the, the water, the fact it's outside. And these waves, the makeup of the beach facing south with the sun rising in the east in the wintertime creates very interesting light play on the waves. It reinforces the lines and the textures of the wave and creates a very fluid motion and look to the wave. Really, my photographic style is this kind of slow shutter panning technique. So not only do I use it with my surfing photography, not only do I use it for my wave photography, but if I get the opportunity, I try and use it for my bird photography. Again, trying to do something different. So I've done that with uh, black skimmers. I've done that with uh, California pelican photos. I'm often asked by people who are looking at my prints, saying, well, is that what you saw when you took the, took the photo? And I say, no, but this is what the camera saw. My regular job is a very you know, science-related and high-stress at times job, and so the photography uh, gives me an opportunity to be outside, just allows me to kind of be in my own moments and uh, kind of allow that creative side of my brain to take over and you know, be set free more or less.